hi loves this is like a mohawk drawstring and i'm going to teach you how to do this welcome back to my channel let us get started so you can use any hair that you want that looks like this that has these curls but i'm using this new viva from darling but you can use any other hair that looks like this or any other hair that you want any texture any curl pattern that you need so you need a mannequin head like the one i have or any 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 other you can have and then we need that uh, a wig cap we're gonna cut that piece in the middle uh, i'm gonna cut it so that i just have that middle part that's the one we're going to use so you if you don't have this kind of uh wig cup you can find any one that you can but as long as you as uh, after inserting it on a mannequin head you cut that middle part and then you remain with that piece that i'm gonna show you after cutting and that's the only thing that you need so this is what you should have in the end after cutting it after cutting your wig cup so I attached up some pins just to hold it on to have a grip on it and then I'm just gonna start doing my magic I'm using that so I'm gonna start with that side I'm just gonna do like uh, I'm just gonna do it in a normal way the upper part of the wig is gonna stay up the lower part of the wig is gonna stay down i mean the under and the inside is gonna stay on the inside under and then the outside of the wig is gonna stay up like i have just placed that wig that track of a weave it's a weave it's not a wig <laughs> so i'm sewing it down all the way to the back that's my first track and i'm just not dub I, I i didn't double the tracks i just used one single track of a weave as you can see so I went all the way to the back and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as you can see. I will just sew it down all the way from the back to the front on that line. You can set that to the front to the back. It doesn't really matter as long as you do it on that particular place so you can see me sewing all the way up and make sure it's nice and secure and then after doing the two sides now i'm starting the front part and then when i'm sewing down this one i'm not going to cut the tracks of the weave that is going to help with the volume volume of the weave of the wig of your wig of your drawstring so i'm just going to go around back and forth back and forth with it after i do that so i did those sides I think I made a mistake here with the clip but it's okay so I did two sides first and then now I'm starting from the back you can also start from the front but I started from the back so I'm starting from the back I'm just gonna go back and forth back and forth with the weave I'm not gonna cut the tracks I'm just gonna go back and forth I'm gonna turn it as I, I reach the end i'm gonna turn it around and go back and then go forth again go back again this is gonna help for your 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 drawstring is gonna be fluffy and not so flat it's gonna give it that volume a fluffy volume and not make it look so flat so that's why i'm doing this and also it's good it's even easy when you're doing that you don't have to go all the hassle of cutting and coming again cutting you know so this is the easy way out so i will sew until i reach a certain area and then i'll show you as you can see i'm not I, i'm still not using a double 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 weft of the weave i'm just using a single single weft of the weave and then i'm just gonna go with that and i'm sewing very close to each other so that there is no gaps between and i want it to be fluffy if you're using more fluffy hair you can skip leave spaces when you're like uh, when you're sewing down but i'm using this weave with this one is not so fluffy so i just want my my i, I, I want a bigger volume on my drawstring 
I don't know how to call this, but I'm just gonna call it a draw, a mohawk drawstring, since it's not it's not just a middle or a yeah middle part drawstring. It's like all the way to the back. It's like a mohawk look. So that's what we're gonna go with. So this is what we are going to do. I'm still sewing single track, single track, single track. Then after I reach that part, I'm gonna start to the front now and going back. Why am I doing this? Because I want my I want to finish at the middle and not in front. I want to close my weave, my sewing process at the middle and not in front. So I'm gonna go like that from the front to the back and I will double the uh, I will double the the weft a little as I go in some places but here I'm still on the first one I'm still using just one single track I'm not like doubling the weft or the track of the weave I'm just using one and you can see it's facing front it's fence it's facing forward in front you can double if you want you can do and then the reason why i didn't double so much it's because all i did was like i sold everything close to each other all the tracks were very close to each other so that's as equal as doubling them so yeah so i'm gonna sew until i i get to the closing part so i'm gonna keep sewing now i'm gonna do in a circle way in a circle i'm gonna go in a circle until we see a very mini, weeny, tiny, weeny, bitty circle. <laughs> I'm blabbing with my words, but I hope you guys understand. Thank you so much for all of you who have subscribed and who keep subscribing. Thank you for your comments and likes. Thank you for joining the family. This means a lot and it gives me strength and energy to keep going. So that's the space that I'm left with. I'm just going to keep going in a circle. I'm going to pin... Uh, the hair around so that it doesn't interfere with my sewing process so I will keep going until we close this part by just going in a circle if you keep going in a circle you just keep sewing keep sewing the space will be decreasing and the uh, and it will be more smaller it will keep minimizing minimizing decreasing and whatever until it becomes very 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 small and you'll just have to close it see so i just went in circles i went in circles until i reach there and then i'm gonna cut my the weft or the track of the weave so i cut that the leftover track that is remaining and then i'm gonna just close it you know you can use that to go around still just until it becomes more smaller you can just go on with that piece you can see until it's that small and then i'm just gonna sew that part and just close it with just going back and forth back and forth with a needle and creating a knot tying a knot and then after that you are done and your part will look seamless and nothing will be seen you can see it's very tiny if i fluff the hair you won't see anything actually you won't see anything now you can see that that's what we have can you imagine that and you see if i'm pulling the hair and fluffing them you see nothing so it's seamless it's sealed you sealed we sealed <laughs> and then i'm going to attach the combs you can use combs the real combs but i didn't have so i just used this this is like a hair a hair tie or a hair whatever i don't know how to call it but this is uh, the closest i could get that looks like combs i'm just gonna cut that part so that i can have those like rings up there to just uh sew on just to have a grip you know but you have the real if you have the real comb if you can get the real combs you can use the real combs uh and then you can use them yeah so I'm just going to sew them down and then I'm going to have like three in front and I'm going to have like one at the back. So three in front. That one, the side one will face each other. I'm not going to put them straight facing. They're going to face each other. I'm going to show you when I'm done because now maybe when I'm explaining, I'm not making sense. But then I'm just going to show you when I'm done sewing them. 
hope you will see what I mean with them facing each other. Thank you again for subscribing. I love you both. You're my new family. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is getting exciting. I get more energy to do more videos. You can see. Make sure it's nice and secure like that. And then uh, you see. So that one is facing that side and the other one will face this side so when i finish sewing you'll see and then i have like one at the back i'm gonna put one at the back i only need one at the back so you see those ones the sides one they're facing each other see and that one the middle one is facing the other side and the last one is facing up the combs are facing up so i have my hair into these like uh four mini bands and then i'm just gonna wrap it around the hair my braids my braids my twists so i have four parts and then i just slicked down with a gel and then i have it nice and sleek and then we're just gonna do the same with the rest and then we're just going to attach our mohawk drawstring like that you do it yourself can you imagine you do this yourself so that i'm starting in the middle one and make sure it goes all the way through my hair and then the other one they're gonna go like that it's like collecting they're just like squeezing each other and just give this uh drawstring a grip and then it's gonna be nice and secure you won't need bobby pins if you do this if you sew the the combs the right way and then the back one is just gonna hold there going upward oh imagine how easy that is thank you so much for watching please and please subscribe give this video a thumb up and please leave a comment if you like this if you like anything from this video and don't forget to press a bell button and bye bye